I think more young people need to be out here because where's the love at? Where's the conscious sense of your community? Where's the sense of understanding the world you live in? You live here. This is where you exist every day. Why would you want to have to live with the fear of being shot down? Live with the fear of being discriminated in your job world? Being discriminated on every element of your life on a daily basis? Why Special Forces guys there, you know, um, they instantly put my nephew in uh, handcuffs. My nephew, he's 13 years old, you know, they put him in handcuffs instantly. They throw him on the car. Um, he's on the car with the guys who were sitting in the van with my brother. Um, Cause while my brother was sitting here, he was in the van with uh, three other guys. You know, they're sitting here, police didn't care. They actually shot the van up. They shot my neighbor's car up. Um, there was like a hole in the uh, garage. It's kind of broke open now. It's a group of white people just coming together from our walks of life. It's a group of like, we gotta stand up and support the black community right now. It feels like one of those watershed moments. that in your heart you know that the shooting and killing of a 12 year old child is justice. And you, we know that you want to do something about it, at least some of you, and those some of you, and those some of you should do something about it. I'm going to turn with that. 26. You see the problem with this out here tonight? I couldn't take a road call. I'm going to 1726. Do you believe Black Lives Matter? But I'll tell you what I do know about Officer going back. He has the official title of a training officer. Means a rookie rides with a, 
a training officer to learn the job on the street. How in the world does a training officer drive right up to a man allegedly having a gun? It blows my mind. say processing don't do anything I mean I understand why that come from that defeat black people got are dealing with a whole big burden of defeat we got to carry every day especially in Cleveland Cleveland got defeat all over their hearts yeah you know from our sports teams to just our basic daily living so they feel like protesting our efforts to do things as individuals are is senseless and pointless but you can't never let man and the system strip what God gave you and that's the power of your life the power of your existence to do anything your voice can be heard you God put you on the earth for a reason if you if you usurp and defeat your own mind you basically you basically underestimating and discrediting what God gave you your own life you know what I'm saying you are worth something. You do have value. You have the potential to change things. But if you defeat yourself, that's the, that's the key weapon they need. You to be your own oppressor.